Budget LS Factor 5 Roadster build update coming right up. So if you saw a few videos ago, I took off this uh, stock oil pan and uh, I was pretty disappointed when I took that off. Uh, this engine had definitely missed some oil changes. There was some sludge at the bottom of that pan. Definitely not happy with that. Um, despite all the comments that uh, I need to rebuild the engine or I need a crate motor, nothing less than a 427, blah, blah, blah. Nobody has shown up to my house with a big bag of money to make that happen. So this is the engine I'm gonna stick with and make it work. Uh, in order to do that, I thought it'd be a good idea if I primed the engine, so I picked up this tank. It's pretty inexpensive. I'll put the link in the description below. You put oil in it, you put air in it, oil comes out here. It came with this braided um, dash four with A&N fittings on there. Instead, I'm gonna try and use this clear hose with some fittings that I picked up uh, so I can see the oil go in as well as when it's done. I'll see the bubbles. Okay, moment of truth. I got five quarts in here. I put, it says 40 PSI in there. I got both of these hoses hooked up. We'll see if it comes out of here. And it should flow into there. If I undo this valve. Oh, there it comes. A lot of bubbles. Ooh, a lot of bubbles. There it goes. I need to check this drain plug on the pan. That feels good. And on in there. Fantastic. I wasn't able to find a way to hook up the oil pressure gauge, but it's fine. I can see these little bubbles flowing in here quite a bit. Yeah, it's flowing quite a bit. All right, well, turn the engine over. Oh no! Jesus Christ. Well, this is what happens when you're a dumbass and forget to do the oil filter and install it. Wow. Jesus Christ. It's still flowing, I see little bubbles.
when I hear stuff happening inside the engine, gurgling noises, Some air bubbles there. Looks like we're at the bottom. Bottom of the tank. Looks like that's going to be it. Fantastic. Guess I don't mind a little bit of air going in there, right? It's all going to drain down to the bottom. say that this boss needs to be cut off and I'm just gonna make sure that enough of it is cut off with this extra little bit hanging down here now just a little cut there
So these top bolts definitely aren't gonna work. This flange here is entirely too big. It's just not enough room in here to get a wrench, let alone for that flange right there. So I gotta replace them. Let's see. Now this side is definitely having a problem. As you can see that washer is bottoming out on this flange right over here. So I either gotta take a notch out of that washer or a little bit of this flange underneath here. That's bottomed out right there. That's it. No problem. Now, did I forget to put this dust boot cover on? You bet your blippy I did. So I'd like to do a test fit. This is the uh, yoke that came with the transmission. And then this is the yoke and drive shaft that came with the kit. So. All right, let's go all the way. Oh, nice. So the one that came with the transmission, obviously, Fits. Let's see if the one that came with the kit looks same to me. Fits. Good deal. Yeah. Now, whether this length is correct, yet to be seen, yet to be seen. But looks like it's in neutral. All right. Thanks for watching.